today we're done liking the tan. You don't remember a couple months ago I tried to camo Nate's 22? Well, it didn't work out. It ended up tan. He actually said he liked the tan, but I'm going to show you how to camo this gun <laughs> for a second time for under five bucks. Five bucks. I need to get my gloves on here. This is actually the stencil. Good thing Halloween came because this is where I got them. So these are two wrist stockings, arm stockings, whatever you want to call them. Paid a dollar a piece for them. Now I got a four dollar can of paint. So six bucks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this out over the gun and then spray it. That's gonna be my camo pack. Uh, you may or may not recall, but my SKS, my 762, I did it that way. See if we can make this one work. So the idea is gonna be light coats. We'll start down on the barrel, stretch this tight. Once this dries, we're gonna flip it over and do the other side, but then we're gonna come back and do it again with brown. So we got a little bit of brown on here, but I'm gonna put back the brown. The black's a little too much. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. This is what I ended up with for six bucks. All right, guys, well, this didn't turn out too bad. It's not exactly what I wanted, but you can always keep working on it. Put a little more here, a little less there. After I hit this with the sandpaper, it'll knock some of the edges off. I think it'll turn out quite nicely. This pattern may not be for everyone. You may like it, you may not. The difference is, it's not your gun, it's mine, so. If I like it, that's what matters. Anyway, that's obviously my SKS. I started off with a dark, a very dark green stock, and then I put that stocking over top of it, and all I did was hit it with some black. That's all that's on there. There's nothing else on there. No tan, no brown, no nothing. Initially, that's what I was going for. However, not starting with the dark green because it didn't have dark green, and the dark green they got in town here is not the right. I went with what I had. I'm happy with that. It's I'm satisfied. It's fine. It'll break it up just nice, but uh, this was originally what I was going for. I'll probably take a little bit of sandpaper, knock off some of the harsh edges on there. That way it'll all blend in a little bit better. I don't want it completely blended in. I just want some subtleties on it, so not bad. Six bucks. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.